Welcome back. Long time no train video. Um, yeah, it's been a few months, but finally have some time to get a few projects going. As you can see back here, I got a couple. And I just got the brand new Ather 20,000 gallon GATC tank cars. I got three pack here. And Alaska Railroad. I really am excited to see the fire suppression car. Um, be interesting to see how close it is to the actual one. Um, we'll go through them, weigh them up, and uh, see if they're close or not, if they're worth the money. Um, they list for $149.98 on Atherin's website. I pre-ordered them engine house services in Green Bay for $127. So pretty, pretty decent discount. Um, yeah, let's get to uh, getting them out of the box. All right, so here they are. I haven't taken them out of the package yet. I just got the tape on the side. Here's the part number of these. If you're interested in that. So they came in three separate packages, which is kind of nice. So you have some information here and the parts breakdown and warranty and card and all that good stuff. So they seem to be packed okay. Looks like there's two extra bearing caps in there. I had the first run of these that they did in Alaska, and I tell you what, they fell apart like crazy. The Atlas ones I have are way better. I hope these don't fall apart like that. I would, wouldn't take trucks off and the stuff on the inside broke and you can't get them off. And, Here's the one I've been waiting for. I really hope this is fairly close with the fire suppression car. They look pretty good. Nothing's broke on them. Kind of surprised. We'll zoom in on them. Lead, lead ring looks pretty good on them too. Let me get the scale out here and see see what they weigh. Give it a second. And it weighs exactly four ounces, which is what it's supposed to weigh. So that's a good good thing. We'll measure another one just to make sure that it's the same. They're exactly four again. So they do feel do do feel fairly heavy. So I'll get a couple of pictures fired up on my computer quick, and we'll see how they compare. So here's a picture of the fire suppression car. So you can see over here, it's been patched, and the, you know, the lettering's not perfectly straight and stuff. 
but you know it's fairly close so we stick this guy up here you can see it's got red and white reflectors which on the picture are supposed to be yellow I mean the lettering looks I mean it looks pretty close Let's zoom out a little bit I think just changing that I mean it's got you now the ARR is wrong that's kind of a shitty thing there the rest of it's pretty close and I think in weathering be able to add be able to add the black here and the Mao has to get added that's not the end of the world to change but definitely gotta change the Alaska logo on there that's way off now I'm going to we'll pull up and you can see here's a better picture on the ends it has a 20,600 gallons in the lettering a little dark but See if we can. Yeah, you can see here. It's got the right lettering and everything. So all you'd have to do when you're weathering it, tape it off and do all that. That won't be won't be too hard. And I guess this picture it does show the the correct red and red and white stripe on there let's see this one was taken in 2008 and this one was in 19 so I guess it depends on what what year you want to model it in and it looks like even the Alaska logo changed if you look here it's got the yellow one if you look there it's got the black one so I guess according to 2008 I guess it it's pretty it's right because that doesn't have the model on it either so I guess you just have to change a few things depending on what years you want to model it in and then we'll go to the standard tank cars here this is the best picture I could find but according to that I mean you know it's got You know, it's got the white reflectors here and the yellow ones here and all the data. There. Zoomed in there. I mean, it's pretty... A little dark here, but it's pretty detailed and it's got all the end detail here. You know, and if you zoom back in here, I mean, you can see all the, you know, the white, and all the detail and all this stuff. So there again, I think when you weather it, you tape all that off, and that would be darker. And I think you could, I think you could pull it off. So there's a look at the cars. I think, I think they do a actually a pretty good job of. Uh, of doing this so I guess all in all they really aren't that bad and for the price I got them for I guess you can't really complain too much um, yeah a few details I think they'd, they'd look really good um, excited about the fire suppression car excited to get that on the layout I'll do a couple uh, zoomed in views of them so you get a little better check at the detail and yeah, thanks for watching.